Welcome back, everyone. We continue with Living Room Sports here on KDK TV. And in keeping with the Pitt Panther theme, we welcome in Athletic Director Heather Like. Heather, thank you for joining us. And this has been kind of a crazy time. I'm just curious uh, how your life has changed over the past several months. Well, it's definitely changed. You know, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, it's funny. People are, are you working? Are you continuing to do the things you're doing? And um, yes, we're definitely working, but I will tell you that the part of the work that we love the most, we're sort of missing. Um, you know, I miss seeing the student athletes around and I miss seeing our coaches, um, but we're starting to slowly phase back in. And so it's been a uh, exciting, uh, you know, as we, as we kind of gear up for the fall in hopes of, of a normal, a new normal fall, we're uh, looking forward to seeing everybody back on campus. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Heather, you've been around for three years now. Most people know you as the athletic director at Pitt, but I don't think most people know you were a really good softball player, right? <laughs> well, back in the day, you know, uh, back in the day when the ball was white. So that's how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I, I enjoyed it and um, had a great experience in my college experience. So, Well, it's interesting because you had a wonderful career uh, where you were a captain did everything at Michigan, and lo and behold, then you end up as a person who is with Ohio State University, uh, yeah. a bitter rival of Michigan, and you stayed there for 15 years. What was that whole thing like, and how did it come to be? Um, you know, uh, it was definitely a challenge uh, to be in a, you know, obviously at the arch rival of Michigan, um, but, you know, I went to Ohio State, uh, you know, when I look at my career and opportunities that have come open, I will tell you, I think what you do is important, where you do it is next important, but who you do it for and with every day is really the most important factor. No Wolverine would purposely choose to be there, but for the quality of the people in the organization. And uh, so I was uh, trying, you know, they tried to brainwash me an awful lot while during those 15 years. Um, I would wear scarlet and gray. I didn't exactly wear the logo a lot, but uh, um, but, you know, it was really a, an incredible experience, obviously a, a neat platform to, to compete uh, for those types of championship and that quality of broad based excellence is really what attracted me to Ohio State. So you're saying you'd hire a Penn State grad then? Um, <laughs> no, you know, no, we would, we do, we would. Uh, we, I think we have a couple on staff, you know, they're, they go through a little extra scrutiny, but no, they're great, great people. So Heather, obviously there's been women athletic directors before you, but right now you're one of a handful in Division I sports and in Power Five Conference. Do you consider yourself a trailblazer? Um, you know, I think a lot of other women uh, blazed the trail well before me. Um, you know, I'm grateful for a number of those women. Um, you know, I may be continuing on that trail, um, but they really, you know, did things at a time when, you know, women's sports was not, or women in college sports was not really perceived in a leadership role, you know, but I would say to young administrators in general, male or female, never put limits on yourself and never let anybody put limits on what you're able to accomplish um, and stay connected to, you know, those who matter and not, frankly, everybody matters and, um, you know, take initiative, you know, making your boss look good and recognizing that you can do more um, than is asked of you usually. Heather, what are uh, some of your biggest accomplishments so far uh, after being here for three seasons and also maybe the challenges? This is a, uh, you know, a program, uh, sports in general, dominated by males for all these years. Uh, and yet here you have 25 years of experience in this as a woman in there. What challenges that have you had to deal with from that point of view? Yeah, I, you know, I, greatest accomplishments. I don't know that we've done anything uh, extraordinary yet, but um, I would say the team is the most important thing. I think you win with people. Um, and so building the right staff and the right head coaching staff, um, we made an awful lot of changes early on. You know, I think the color change was a, a, a nice positive move and hopefully a unifying opportunity for our university. You know, there's great pride in those colors that represent just the extraordinary success that Pitt had kind of back in those times. So I think the biggest challenge has been raising the expectations, you know, believing that, you know, I ask people all the time, how many football national championships have we won at Pitt? Do you guys know? Nine. Nine. Okay, good answer. You guys were prepped. 
Um, <laughs> but I ask a lot of people, right? And they don't know the answer to that. I mean, faculty, students, alumni, you know, and they're like, ah, you know, I don't remember. And then I say, well, you know, they'll say two or three. And then I say, well, how many has Oklahoma won? And they say, I don't know. And I say, well, seven. And I say, well, how many has Penn State won? National championships in football. And they'll say, oh, I don't know, like six or eight. I'm like, no, two. So Oklahoma plus Penn State equals Pitt in football national championships. And we don't talk about that level of expectation and going out and winning a national championship. So I think bringing in coaches who have great courage and confidence to build that caliber of program here and knowing that that's the expectation has been the greatest challenge so far in trying to raise those, raise that level of competition. Thanks, Heather. When we come back, it's the big question. When does sports at the college level return? We'll ask Heather like next right here on Living Room Sports.